Indonesia. Perfect. No rain at all. Right. Kwai, Samanka, Satona, Orang, Sangyang, Kalabaka. Cool. see where I landed where the uh, flags came down where I landed in the intermediate car still going while the screen goes to black Currently engaging in a secret ploy to teach people things. Uh, sending a message to the people I go cycling with, who were doing a really long ride within a few weeks. Don't want anyone's bike to be like broken when we do that long ride, so we want to make sure they're all good. We've got a bit of time now, enough time for them to get the parts, get it fixed. I can do do a bit of it if it needs or whatever got time to get the parts um, yeah I'm gonna send a message to him to say if you turn up a little bit early on Saturday then I'll be there I'll look over your bike well, I won't look over their bike or well, I will but they're gonna look over their bike I'm just gonna teach them how to look over their bike and be like, do that every couple of weeks. <laughs> Piece of piss takes like two or three minutes. And you just go over everything on your bike. You're like, yep, the bike still feels good. If there's anything dangerous, we'll fix it. Shouldn't be too difficult.
Indonesia is one of the hardest in the dark because it dips and is it's very up and down. So you can't see really what's coming, the lights don't work, whereas like Germany you can pretty much see everywhere because it's fairly flat. Held on to it. That's the bit I've not got the hang of in, well, in the game in general, but specifically Indonesia because it's got a lot of them. Like I was just saying, it goes up and down, but geeing out at the bottom and just getting flicked because you try to make the correction, but you shouldn't. I think you should let it, and it will correct itself most of the time, as long as you were pointing in the right direction before. I always try to correct and that means that it, it overcompensates because you suddenly G out, you get extra grip. I like Indonesia. <laughs> Roving reporter on the motorbike, we've got to use him at least once an hour, has just said, well, the group in front are still pedalling. Right. Mm. They might stop pedalling in about 20 minutes because they're slightly going uphill now and then they're going to come downhill in about 20 minutes, I reckon. So there might be a couple of bits on that downhill where they might stop pedalling. You know, especially some of the people well contained in the bunch getting the aero, be uh, aero benefit of the bunch. Probably just stop pedalling. I did love uh, going with the same group I just talked about a minute ago. On Tuesday I was trying to teach them how to do through and off, which is where you, you peel off the front and share the work. So you flick off the front and then the next person comes through because we've always worked too hard. And I'm just sat in the middle, literally not even pedalling. The guy on the front's fully, comes off the front, like, oh, how fast we go, working so hard. I'm like, sit at the back and chill. 
and then get pulled through. Well, you got to do a bit of work. The back, I think the back's the hardest. Because uh, the front, you get to set the pace. So the front is easy. The middle is easiest, because you don't actually have to do the work. The back is the hardest. Which I've had to explain to one person, because she was... She was on the front, did a fantastic job on the front, and then couldn't keep, couldn't hold on to the back. And I was like, it's not actually gone faster. In fact, I think it's got slower. <laughs> she is phenomenally just raw power, but she turns a huge gear. Just really like a big boom, 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 boom kind of cadence. Which unfortunately means that when you're sprinting on the back, it's hard to get yourself ramped up to that speed. Whereas I, I'm like bollocksed at that sort of speed that she was putting out. I couldn't hold her speed that she was putting out on the front when I came through. I, I had to slow this pace down. And she sits like more upright than me. I, you know, I was born and bred a bike racer. I sit on a bike low and hard. She has only just in the last three months, I think, got a bike with drop bars, a road, proper road bike. Before that, she had a mountain bike. So she sits fairly fairly upright, especially compared to my position, when I'm trying, especially. But yeah, I had to slow the pace down a little bit, because I couldn't keep it. It's like, yeah, fair play, mate. You are, you've got that power. you got hella power in the legs. But the, sp the micro sprints, constant micro sprints to catch the back of the group. Easy for me, I sit on the back all the time. Though I've decided this weekend I might say fuck it. Because <laughs> I keep getting dropped off the back waiting with people. So I might for certain bits of it. Maybe it'll be, I did it. kind of did it last week, sitting more towards the front. I'm gonna try and get them to do through enough, and like we don't lose anyone. That's what. That's the dream. The dream would be we don't lose anyone. We go circulate beautifully. No one gets lost. That would be the dream, but I highly doubt it's gonna happen. Tasty sub minute right there.
That corner is so make or break. That last corner, you can st just stall it or get through it super fast. Barely even dirty, only done five kilometers. <laughs>
Getting a bit squirrely. That was actually good. I want to see, because that felt good. How far am I off? 14 seconds, that's not bad. That is not, not bad. Take the numbers a little bit with a pinch of salt, because not so many people have done these tracks, but top 100 is still pretty good. And 14 seconds off. Especially in the fog. I'll take that as a as a downgrade. Ooh, that was spicy. I am so surprised I didn't get completely yeeted on that bridge. I really ought to have been. I can't remember if there's a solid one. There isn't. I was thinking, is there a solid corner just before the finish on this one? <laughs> I'm going flat out. I don't know if there's a corner about to come out of nowhere.
There's some serious frame drops right now. Crack him. That was a pretty good run. 25.42. Love it. Alright, how many stages did I put? I think I got 100 on that one. Yeah. Nice one. Cheers, Turbo.